And so I went to the Bureau of Standards. Dr. Dickinson looked at my drawings, and he said, have you ever heard of Bucky Fuller? I said, no. I think I must have been 14 or 14 and a half, somewhere around that. So they said, would you like to meet him? I said, yeah, sure. He is, he, what is he? He's, he's an inventor like you. He thinks up a lot of new things. Buckminster Fuller was one of the 20th century's most renowned futurists. Known primarily as the inventor of the geodesic dome, Fuller was a proponent of using technology with a humanistic approach. Dr. Dickinson took me out there to see Fuller, and there was Bucky Fuller. He was seated there with his car called the Dymaxion. I talked to him about social things. I said, uh, what about changing society to some other form whereby all people can benefit from the works of industry? He said, what do you mean? I said, well, if all, instead of working people going out on strike, give them a piece of the action. And so if business improved, they all got automatic pay. If it went down, they got less pay. So he sat back and he said, uh, what are you, some kind of a social planner? Is that what you want to be? I said, I don't know what the name is, but I think that would work. It would give people more incentive. He says, let me tell you something. It's tough enough just getting a new automobile out there. If you're trying to change society. And behind the philosophy is one man who has spent a lifetime helping people do more with less. This is R. Buckminster Fuller, known around the world as Bucky. Now almost 90, Bucky Fuller is a cult figure to some. He's been called the Earth's friendly genius, while many folks have never heard of him. He has one of the longest entries in Who's Who, listing him as architect, writer, poet, mathematician, inventor, artist, and more. He coined the phrase Spaceship Earth, but his purpose has never been seeking fortune or fame. The world isn't working for everybody. Why isn't it? Because they're trying to solve all the world problems with politics. And politics is based on very good policy. How do you cope with the fundamental inadequacy of life support on our planet? You know, the great model of all economics is nowhere nearly enough to go around. This is completely ignorant of what you can do with modern technology. But we have the option now to make it, to take care of all humanity, the highest standard of has ever known. We have the technology available to give everyone on Earth the highest standard of living in history. Or we can destroy ourselves. At the end of the session, thousands of red chips are scattered over the map. One chip for each nuclear bomb in the world today. Buckminster Fuller has proved his point.